Top TV, Truth of the People. Well, a very good evening, my dear viewer from wherever you're watching. Thank you for choosing Top TV. This is your favorite show, Hasa a Siasa, a program that dives into addressing matters leadership and governance. And today we are privileged to catch up with the one and only Mtumishi Robert Moria Sungura, who is the sitting member of county assembly for Ngong Ward. Welcome on set, Mwishimiwa Mtumishi. Thank you, sir. Well, it is a pleasure to have you on set today. And uh, let's just briefly look into what uh, is necessary and what really uh, affects the Monainchi at Ngong Ward. So we are talking at uh, we are talking about the five years tenure with regards to elective positions. Today, where we stand, we are only seven months shy from the completion of the tenure. There are a number of objectives that you had, of course. On a scorecard, can you, like, let's say you assess whatever you had projected to do and what you have been able to do uh, in a summary form. Can you do that? Yes, thank you so much. Uh, first and foremost is to greet you all this evening and to say welcome and I'm humbled to be part and, the process, uh, part and parcel of this program this evening. Thank and thank you even for having uh, given me the honor of even to appear before this station wow. to become and maybe talk on one or two things about Ngong. Right. I'm very much humbled on that and uh, it's good that you have chosen uh, so that you can be able to put several points forward. And as you know that um, we were all elected and we are, I was elected on a, on, on a platform of change for Ngong. Mm -hmm. And so far so good, you can walk around Ngong and you can see that uh, we have a new sigh of relief. You can see that we have some changes which you can be able to see. Mm -hmm. But in actual sense, it's also good to also note that uh, Rome was not built in a day. Mm -hmm. And as we are seeking elective posts, you know, everything, we look at things and we tend to take things mm -hmm. uh, at, uh, uh, at maybe at a level that you think that you can become a magician. <laughs> but it is not possible yeah, because there, there, so. there are so many matters that... Uh, there are so many matters that, uh, that are left pending. And then you can also take note of the fact that um, devolution is real and devolution is working and we are so proud of devolution. But it is still, it was still a baby and uh, it is still on its baby steps. Sure. But it have, we have been able to do several things. And among uh, maybe my manifesto, I can be able to maybe say we have been able to do several things. All right. uh, first and foremost, you can see about, um, mostly uh, it's about Ngong. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ngong, Ngong, Ngong is a bedroom. Ngong is a bedroom. is, is a bedroom from, of Nairobi because this this is where mostly most of the people from from the from from Nairobi come and sleep. This is where they come and do their this is where they come and do their their small businesses. Wow. This is where they get their food. Mm -hmm. So what we have what I have tried in one way or the other with together with um, those we have been working with, we have been able to instill a lot of uh, investor confidence. Mm -hmm. So business is thriving in Ngong. Mm -hmm. Business is thriving, mm -hmm. and we have been able to to in actual sense put about, uh, put about um, points that have been able to help us. And as you can walk around, you can see the investor confidence okay. that is here. For the last about maybe one month, you can even be able to see that we have had an opening of two branches of uh, uh, two banks here. We have had KCB, mm -hmm. which has opened its doors, I think, last week. Mm -hmm. And then we also have NCBA, which has also, also opened its branch here. Mm -hmm. And we have a number of circles, which can also show you the kind of uh, the confidence, the confidence that is being invested. Yes, and then you can also go around and see even the kind of hospitals that, that have opened their branches around. Mm -hmm. We have the Aga Khan Hospital, mm -hmm. we have the AAR Hospital, mm -hmm. we have the Ikuyafi Hospital, mm -hmm. we have King David, and all these shows that are about the, the kind of uh, the, the kind of the kind of investor confidence we have in Gong. We also have a, a hospital that is opening up just behind my office here. It's all a right. big hospital. Wow. And these things uh, can show you the kind of climate that we have that is conducive for people to come and settle here. Also, I would like to talk about security. Security has been beefed up very well, and we are working very closely with the security apparatus, and Gong has been a good place. You can also talk about, um, maybe we talked about making of roads, mm -hmm. which you have not been able to make because we have, we have certain issues. And uh, when we went to the assembly, the first and foremost thing that we did as an assembly is that we had to push we had to push the status of Ngong and Kajero North mm -hmm. to a municipality status. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when we pushed it to a municipality status, we were pushing it so that we could be able to get and to get funds from, from other areas that, that can be able to support. Because as a county itself, okay. Kajero County is very vast. Mm -hmm. So we had to look for other avenues of maybe... Where well, you can source for capital. We can source other funds from okay. the state and from other actors right. so that we can be able to boost our town in other areas. Mm -hmm. And we have been able to do it. 
Uh, you can you can see there is a road that used to trouble people so much sometimes back. Mm -hmm. That is just after the market. That we call it we call it the municipal one road. Right. You, are, you are going to see the the, the road uh, the signs being put uh, shortly. Mm -hmm. uh, it has already been captured. It has already been done. It is the one that goes all the way from uh, uh, behind uh, behind behind the formerly Kobil petrol station that is now that will be coming up mm -hmm. all the way to Juakali. That's a tarmac road. Wow, Mushimiwa, maybe just to 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 interrupt. Sorry for interruption, though. Yes. I, I, you have really given a good number of uh, 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 of achievements that you have been able to achieve. Yes. Uh, now, my, my, my bone of contention now comes in this manner. Just how have you been able to make sure that you, uh, along your, 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 your tenure of administration, you've been able to achieve such kind of things? I mean, how have you been incorporating the stakeholders with regards to investor confidence, with regards to... Uh, uh, improving the health facilities within your ward. Uh, you know, the, the most and foremost thing that you should note here by is that nowadays there's nothing that uh, can be done. You cannot do anything as a person nowadays. Okay. First and foremost, uh, we have public participation, mm -hmm. which is part and enshrined in the constitution. Mm -hmm. So what we are, what we what we do, we basically get it for the general monarchy. Mm -hmm. We have we have public participation exercises when we are having our budgets. Mm -hmm. So the uh, the monarchy is called. Okay. He's called. We call them to places. We call them to conferences. Like for example, our meetings are usually held at uh, Peck Guest House mm -hmm. or at, at our, our basic education offices just up here opposite the AP offices. Yes. That is where we have the meetings, mm -hmm. and then we we share we share the, the we share the the the, the, the ward funds, mm -hmm. and and we send them to the areas that uh, the Monanchi wants them to feel an impact. Okay. For example, and basically, like for example, in Gong, we have about four or five areas mm -hmm. because we have Gong Town. Mm -hmm. We have Umoja area, that is formerly Madare. Sure. We have uh, Uplands area, formerly Geshagi. Mm -hmm. And we have Bondeni, wow. uh, ACK, Kisindogo. Those are the areas that we put a lot of uh, uh, focus and uh, emphasis on. Right. And basically, the most issues that we have been having are issues of water mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and infrastructure mm -hmm. and sanitation. Those are the basic areas that we have been able to, we have been, we have, we have been trying to tackle. Wow. And also, when it comes to waste, you can, you can take a walk around, you can see that we were able mm -hmm. Uh, we were able satisfactorily to close down the dump site, mm -hmm. which has been a menace to the people of Ngong. Yeah, sure. That one cannot be gainsaid. Sure. But whereas also we had um, the project, uh, the project affected persons, those who are who are making uh, who are making a living from from the uh, from the dump site, the dump site, who have not been able to to be to be catered for. Yeah, sure. Uh, because we were supposed to be having a sanitary landfill mm -hmm. that was supposed to be brought about mm -hmm. at the vet farm, which has not been able to settle. Mm -hmm. But we are looking forward that in the near future mm -hmm. we are going to be able to do the same. So those people have been suffering. Mm -hmm. We have been trying to, to cover that gap, maybe through bursaries from the wards yeah, sure. and, 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 and other sectors. So and I can say, so far, have you managed to, like, let's say, cater for the needs of those people who, have, who are adversely affected by the, 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 the transfer of the dump? Itself? We have not been able to, uh, to, 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 to cover their needs because their needs, you know, there are many. Sure. Because this is basically a community that has, mm -hmm. a, that has been living there. True. And uh, they have been actually been there in sense been very much affected, mm -hmm. but they are trying to cope and they are trying to put, they are trying to to, to earn a living through other means. So, in a nutshell, what you're saying, you really agree with the fact that they have been adversely affected, and it is within your uh, you really working so like uh, let's say round the clock to ensure that they are, uh, are being catered for, rather they are at least brought to a place where they can pick up themselves again and move on. Yes, that. yes, that's what I can say. They have been adversely affected because in, in initially uh, part of our part of our arrangement was that we were going we were going to close down the dump site okay. and move it uh, as a as a as a sunny we were supposed to be having a waste uh, a waste recollection factory. Yeah, sure. At at, uh, at Kibiko that somewhere along the, mm -hmm. along the vet farm. Which, which brought about some some kind some of um, juggernaut which here yeah, which which are neither here nor there from the from the courts and what and they are yet to be resolved and they are yet to be solved okay. so it, we cannot say we can basically say that the problem did not emanate from us because we had a very good plan for these people sure, sure. and but now you know once the once the term site was closed that was that mm -hmm. and uh, we are we are, we are still trying to walk around the area and then something else that also happened you very well know that covid happened yeah sure and when very covid true. happened mm -hmm. covid in actual sense affected almost it never spared anybody it never spared everybody even us government it never spared us even our plans even the future plans that we had for our people True. they were also affected very tough they were, they are, so it's a daunting task to sure, us sure, yes sure. well thank you so much Mishmio, for the uh, brief and well explained scorecard that you do have yes on your table and uh, so maybe just to from your sentiments it is evidently clear that you intend to defend your seat as a member of county assembly from Gong Ward. 
Is that true? Yes, I want to defend it. And uh, without fear of favor, I can say that I'm defending my seat on a UDA ticket. On a UDA ticket? Yes, that is where, that is where my spirit is. That, that, that is where my heart is. So how is. does it feel like defending your seat on, an UD, on a UDA ticket? Like, uh, let's say, for instance, are there any set of ideologies that you ascribe which are part of UDA? Or are there any... And any parts of your ideologies that UDA has come Yes, yes, I can, I can ascribe to the fact that uh, I've, been, I've, been with UDA, I've been with UDA right from the inception. Okay. And uh, we, in actual sense, agree in so many areas with them because I, I, also, believe, I, also, believe in the, I also believe in the machine learning economics. Mm -hmm. I believe in the bottoms up economics because wow. that is what is basically even around my area in Gong. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I do believe in the uh, <laughs> the Kadogo economy that is that is driving <laughs> that is driving the nation, sure. and that is where where I get my energy, and that is where I want to defend my seat on the same. For example, if you go around, you can see that we have a state of the art market mm -hmm. that was brought up by the World Bank, okay. and uh, I can satisfactorily say that we were able to settle in mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. The, the, the common one who, who, was, who was working in the market. So they and have really benefited from the market? Yes, yeah, they have the really modern. benefited from the, from the modern market wow. because they are already there and they are already, they are already applying their business. And we are, we are, we are, we are, we are in actual sense praying mm -hmm. that things work out for the better. And then in the in the former in the where we had taken the, the, the former market, the relocation market, yes. we have a plan of even we we have already started settling in the, the mechanics mm -hmm. who were in a place called Grogon. Okay. It, it has also not been a walk in the park because we have a lot of politics here, internal politics. Mm -hmm. But is that that is where that is the place we want to, we want them to go. Okay. Because there's a lot of room, there's a lot there's a lot of space mm -hmm. and we, we have good thoughts for the people wow. of Ngong. Wow. Yes. That's amazing from you, um to Mishi Robert Sumura. Yes. yes. And uh Let's say, for instance, we've been having this notion uh, whereby the youth have created an, Im an imaginary wall between uh, them and the elderly people in the, in, the, in, the, in the leadership positions. Let's say, for instance, they have been saying the elderly people in the elective position or rather leadership uh, positions have been taking advantage of, of, of their, their lack of experience with regards to, to leadership. And so, right now, they feel like they are offended, and maybe, to some extent, they do not ascribe to the ideologies of the elderly. Do you, do you feel like this is a wrong notion, or they, it can be quantified? Uh, in actual sense, it's just like you put it, it is imaginary. It is imaginary. Because it is imaginary in the sense, in the sense that we also started out, uh, nobody was born old. Mm -hmm. We were, also, we, were, we were also youthful one day, one day of the other. Uh -huh. uh, if I can give you my story, I started, I started politics at a very young age. Okay. And um, when, 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 I came to, when, when I came to be elected, that was my sixth onslaught mm -hmm. on the seat. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so, so the literally line, patience pays. Huh? Yes, patience pays. And then, mm -hmm. then at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's all a matter of sacrifice and mm -hmm. servitude. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would like everybody to know that uh, when it comes to leadership, it's mm -hmm. not about leading, it's about leadership. It's, it's about, about servitude. Sacrifice and servitude. It's, it's, and servitude. Sure. it's, it's about what, what you're hearing from the people. Mm -hmm. So the notion that uh, they have been sidelined is neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. because but, but that's the talk in the streets. You know, it, it, that's this, the talk in the it, streets. It's, it's a talk in the street because yes. this is, these are political types. True. And then, you know, with the kind of uh, the bashing that we have had on the economy mm -hmm. and uh, the, the bashing we have had on, on livelihoods of people, mm -hmm. everybody tends to feel offended. Even if you go to the even if you go to the elderly, they feel that they are offended. It's neither. And then, you know, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. who is bashed? The person who is bashed is mm -hmm. the one who is in political yeah, office. True, true. And then we can, only, we can only be able to do so much. You have come to my office today. Mm -hmm. You have seen the people who have been coming in these offices. We are trying to serve them. And we can only do so much. So, Moshimiwa, literally what you're saying is that yeah, it's, it's, it's just bashing. Yeah, uh, uh, with regards to the political. No, they have they, they they have genuine ideas which mm -hmm. have not been addressed. Mm -hmm. uh, that one I can agree. But that's the point. From the genuine ideas that they feel haven't been addressed. Yes. From your position where you sit as a member of county assembly. Yes. What is your plan? And of course, you intend to defend the seat. We, so yes. going forward, God willing, you may have that opportunity to lead, uh, rather to serve the people of Ngong Ward for the next five years. Mm -hmm. So how best are you going to address these issues that the youth really feel that they haven't been addressed and they are key to them? Yeah, but, but you, you know, we, we, like tangible, we like tangible questions and uh, we, which get tangible results. Mm -hmm. Because in regards to the Kajeta County Assembly, yes. we have been having the youth mm -hmm. and they have been coming with genuine reasons. And once we come with genuine reasons, we as an assembly accept them because we have a very vibrant uh, youth committee yeah, in, the, sure. in the county assembly of Kajiado. Mm -hmm. 
whereby if they bring us our issues, we try to address them as fast as possible. Through we have the, the, the means to address these issues because they, they can bring they, they can bring their letters to the to the speaker, they can bring the letters to the clerk of the of the county assembly, they can bring us to us and you can square them there. And wow. we, we have been we have been trying we have been trying to address this and then when it comes even for for example, I personally have been fronting for for, for, for soccer for the youth, mm -hmm. for, for volleyball, mm -hmm. for, for, for games and sports. Mm -hmm. Like that, talent scoring like, like and, talent and improvement. It has been there. We have been wow. trying. That's but now you see we are we are also overwhelmed because mm -hmm. now you see mm -hmm. Uh, basically, because of the improvement of education and services mm -hmm. in Kenya, mm -hmm. the, the, the the youth that are being released in the market, yeah. they, are, they are just they are, they are just too many, mm -hmm. and and where and where to absorb them, it mm -hmm. becomes a problem. That that is something you can see yeah, because we have so we have the yeah, proliferation yeah. of so many colleges, yeah, universities, yeah. and then everybody uh, part of the big number of youth vis-à-vis uh, -vis our days they are now educated okay. and and uh, and they have so much exposed. Well, so what you what you have uh, literally said is that. Uh, if there are important and really genuine issues that address the youth, there is a clear pathway that has to be followed and these issues will and can be addressed. They can be addressed and we have been addressing them. Thank you so much. Yes. So maybe uh, as we sum up this uh, program, uh, you use this camera. Yes. Mwishmiwa Mtumishi Robert Moria Sungura. Yes. Give a clarion call to the electorate of Ngongwad as well as the general citizenry in this ward. What should they expect from you, Mwishimi Wam Tumishi? Uh, thank you so much, uh, Sirengo. Yes. I'm so happy that uh, I've been here today. And I would like to, in actual sense, say that uh, the future of this country belongs to God. Mm -hmm. And uh, me, my only, my only clarion call is to people of Hong Kong is that we are generally a cosmopolitan area that, that has been here, here and all along. And, uh, and as long as I'm concerned is that politics, uh, politics and, the, and, and the political date will come and go, mm -hmm. but Gong will be here. Sure. So me, the most important thing is love, because mm -hmm. me, McLaren Call has been one love for Gong. One let love us, for yes, one love for Gong, and uh, mm -hmm. let us have unity mm -hmm. and a prayer for this day. Me, it's only a prayer for Gong. Let us pray for the unity of this area, and then because I know we are going to, to search forward. My clarion call is Mungu Mbele, and that's where we are. Thank you so much, Mwishmi yes. Wamtumishi, Robert Sungura Moria. Yes. It was a pleasure to have you on site. Yes. And I wish you all the best in your political endeavors as well as leadership and governance endeavors. It never gets any better than Hasa Zasiasa on Top TV. This has been the program that we always go uh, to the extent of reaching to the grassroots tackling the issues that affect you as the common manainchi with matters regarding to leadership and governance. I have been your host, Daniel Sirengo, and the conversation continues on our social media handles. Don't go away. Till next time, it was pleasure.